I brought my dad back. We're gonna get the dryer. It's, it's time to get the dryer. Look at this, they keep like a, a griddle out back here so they can have their lunch break. There it is, all loaded up and ready to go. Oh buddy, look, this is my favorite part. Don't pay zero dollars, pay $125. How does that even make any sense? There it is, it's all in place and ready to go. All right, teamwork. Ooh, that took up a good chunk of my day, and I'm gonna ask the guys in the tiny chat this tonight. And just in case you're not in the tiny chat, but you guys have been to the tiny chat before, do you guys like the actual tiny chat application? Because over the weekend at Playlist Live, they introduced us to this thing called Vocal, which is pretty close, but it's kind of more interactive, but it's sort of moving away from a group talk into more of a live show, but I can still have more than one person there. What do you guys think? Do you guys really like the tiny chat? Or are you guys turned off by the tiny chat? Would you rather I do like a blog TV type thing? Or if you want me to do this vocal, if you've used vocal before, let me know down below and if you like it or not. Because when I did, I went on it with, uh, with uh, Kevin from District Lines when they were doing their, it was like a town hall meeting before Playlist Live. It was really interesting because when I went on cam, some guy that worked at Vocal like came in and he's like, hello, my name's Steve, I work for Go Vocal. Just wanna make sure that you got all your mic, everything working just fine, make sure everything's going good. And he like went, ran me through a checklist. So consequently, I was impressed by them and anything that impresses me, I'd like to use. We'll see what everybody says. I said that with a little bit of an accent for some reason. All right, I got my first load of laundry going in there. I hope that thing works. If not, I will have some wet clothes and that won't be very fun. I would imagine it would work. I mean, I just spent money on it and they're like, it works, fine. I wish I had like a cameraman or something. Today would have been way awesome because you guys would have been able to like see me doing what I was doing with the, with the dryer, moving it in, putting it in and installing it. No, you couldn't see that because I would have been very difficult for me to move a dryer while holding the camera like, oh, oh no. When I first started doing these vlogs, I had a Flip Ultra AD HD, right? And I wanted to go to the water with it, so we bought a waterproof case for it. But now I have a camera that goes in the waterproof, or that is waterproof. And I was thinking about giving away the Flip Ultra waterproof case. Would any of you guys be interested in a Flip Ultra waterproof case giveaway? Uh, I think it'll work on any Flip Ultra, but it's definitely like not this generation, the one before it. Here we go, if your Flip Ultra has a mini HDMI, but when you open it up, it still says pure digital on the inside rather than Cisco, that's the mirror model of Flip Ultra that I have. Uh, I'd give this one away, but I don't think you guys want this. It's uh, it's pretty broke. See, this is sort of why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of questioning the whole tiny chat thing. And uh, it's because today's a Tuesday, and like I'm feeling super rushed because it's almost 8 o'clock now and I have to start editing by like 8, between 8 and 8.30 to get this video up. Started uploading by 9 so that I can go into the tiny chat and like not just sit there and like look off at another screen while you guys are just staring at my face. So that's, I don't know. That's like one of my one of my drawbacks to, to tiny chat. Consequently, Tuesdays just end up turning into something like a like an informative session. Like take for instance, I am currently trying to scheme away to figure out how to get to, to uh, I almost said playlist, to VidCon. Because while we were at playlist, everybody was like, so I'll see you at VidCon. And we're like, eh, no, I mean, maybe if we can come up with the money. Like staying somewhere, not a problem. I could probably camp somewhere for free. We have family out there, I've got friends out there. Plenty of places to stay in LA. Uh, the question is getting tickets to VidCon and flying out to LA. Those are the two big expenses. What do you guys think? What should I do? Like, how should I get out there? What is the scheme? What's the plan? Since you guys are granting wishes and all right now, anybody want to give me like a, a 60D? Heck, I'll even be fine with a T3i. That's, that's totally cool. Probably any Canon DSLR that does 1080p. Just, just throwing it out there. Since you guys are genies and granting wishes and all. If you guys still have not been to this website, go do it now. So I have an idea. What I'll do to get to VidCon is I'll sell my dryer the hmm. So I figured like this is just an idea that I just thought up and you guys tell me like down in the comments. I'm sure you guys have a bajillion better ideas than this. But I never liked asking people for money so I want to give you guys, if we're going to send me to VidCon, like if you guys the only way that I can think of me getting there is like people sending me money or sending me tickets or doing something like that. But I don't want to take something without giving something back. So the way that I figured is 
that like we could come up with some sort of a plan like a dunk tank where we have a dunk tank and you guys through like a point system or something get so many tosses at the dunk tank or like maybe that sounds expensive a paintball gun well uh, that sounds painful um water balloons that sounds really good and easy but you guys don't want easy do you, you guys you guys want the paintball gun don't you uh. Let you guys leave me a comment. I'm sure you guys have something way better than a paintball gun. You know, I don't mind being hurt. It's not the pain that bothers me. I have like a broken rib right now. I'm cool with that. Uh, I don't want to die. So please don't say like get shot with real bullets. Because that sounds really painful and deathly. I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price. So I actually took the card out of my camera to put it in the computer and start to like work on the video and my card reader literally fell apart. Like I tried to stick, it was in here and I tried to stick the card in there and look, all of the plastic pieces just fell off of it. That's weird. Put it back together, I guess it's working now. I mean if you guys are seeing this video, either I went through a whole heck of a lot of pain with wires and stuff or it's working.